Look at how small this 2 terabyte external SSD is. Let's check out the Sabre and Rocket Nano today. Hi, this is David of Techfobaba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, let's take a look at the Sabre and Rocket Nano. It's cheaper than other USB 3.2 Gen 2 external SSDs like the Samsung T7, and it's tiny. Let's see if the Rocket Nano is just as good. An external SSD is a great accessory for a modern laptop like the M1 MacBook Air. It's much cheaper than the internal storage, and it can be moved around from one laptop to another. For example, a base M1 MacBook Air costs $999 US dollars, and it comes with just 256 gigabytes of internal storage. It costs $800 more to upgrade to 2 terabytes of internal storage. This 2 terabyte Sabrin external SSD, on the other hand, costs only $270. Now, these USB external SSDs aren't as fast as the internal drive, but they're already fast enough to edit 4K videos directly on. The Rocket Nano comes in a nice metal box. Inside the box, there's the drive and two cables an USB Type-A to Type-C, and an USB Type-C to Type-C cable. The Rocket Nano comes in three storage sizes, 512 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes. And it's just so tiny, just 2.75 inches long, 1.15 inches wide, and 0.5 inches thick, weights only two ounces. It's the smallest external SSD I've seen so far. Here it is compared to the Samsung T7, which is already quite portable. Rocket Nano is a bit thicker, but much smaller in length and width. The build quality is similar to the Samsung T7, which is very impressive. It's enclosed all the way around by 6061 aluminum alloy, which feels very sturdy and solid. The metal surface also helps with heat dissipation, but more on that later. It now comes in six colors, but I've only seen black and silver on sale mostly. It's very sleek with an indented logo and branding in the front. The USB-C port and an indicator light are on the side, and the model label in the back. There's even a rugged version with IP67 rating, which is better than the SanDisk Extreme SSD for just $10 more. I'll have a link to it as well in the description below. The Rocket Nano has a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, which supports 10 gigabits per second maximum throughput. It's compatible with both PC and Macs with up to 1000 megabytes per second of transfer rate, similar to Samsung T7 and SanDisk Extreme V2. Here I have it connected directly to my M1 MacBook Air. With Blackmagic speed test, I get about 650 megabytes per second write and 668 megabytes per second read, which are similar to what I get with the Samsung T7. By the way, even though the USB ports on the M1 Macs are spec up to 10 gigabits per second, they're slower than those on the Intel Macs for some reason. The workaround is to connect the drive through a Thunderbolt hub with 10 gigabit per second USB ports like the ones I've reviewed before. I'll put links to those videos here and in the description. Going through the hub, I can get about 40% increase in transfer speed from the Rocket Nano at around 850 megabytes per second write and 920 megabytes per second read. Even more improvement than what I've seen with the Samsung T7. Definitely check out using a hub if you want to maximize USB transfer speed with the M1 Mac. One drawback with this tiny drive is it warms up quicker and more than the bigger Samsung T7. Perhaps it's a combination of the chips used inside and the drive being so small. There's just not much surface area to dissipate the heat quickly. When these SSD drives warm up too much, the transfer speed is throttled slower to keep the temperature down. I don't see much throttling when I transfer a 64 gigabyte video file back and forth a few times, but the drive gets warm to the touch. When I transfer over a terabyte of files all at once, the Rocket Nano did slow down, and it became very hot to touch. Just something to be mindful of. At the current price of $280 for this 2TB model, the Sabrin Rocket Nano is one of the cheaper and the smallest 2TB external SSDs I've found so far. It's just as fast, if not faster, than the popular Samsung T7 with very solid build quality. It's much smaller and more portable, even though it does warm up quicker. I think it's a good, more affordable alternative to the Samsung T7 for the M1 Max and other laptops. If you want to see my review of the Samsung T7, I'll link it here and below in the description. I'm also trying out this NVMe USB enclosure and this much faster Thunderbolt 3 external SSD from Sabrent. Subscribe if you haven't and turn on the bell to be notified when those videos are posted. Thanks for watching. 
If you find this video helpful, please help me by smashing the like button and share. What external drives do you have? Which are your favorites? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.